In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless void, and darkness covered the face of the deep while a wind from God swept over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw that the light was good. And God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day. And the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning, the first day. My name is Steve Wilson. I was selected by St. Charles Avenue Presbyterian Church to do the new stained glass windows in their new chapel. Most of the windows are determined through committee work, a real collaborative process of color, uh, theme, style. The ones for St. Charles were to be all about creation, especially using the flora and fauna of Louisiana. We have a strong lineage of focusing mainly on color. A lot of stained glass windows focus on the narrative. They focus on a painting style. But these windows are all about combining you know, the blues and the greens with the oranges and the reds and finding complements and split complements. These were done by taking the shapes of animals and human anatomy and a current that flows through all the windows and then like a coloring book, coloring in the animals. When I finish the design, um, Ellen takes it and with a transparency, she projects it onto a wall to the full scale. Once the lines are on the paper, then Ellen or Maggie or I will color code each piece. Once it's color coded, then the patterns are duplicated from the cartoon, the patterns are cut and each color goes to its corresponding sheet of glass and all the pieces are cut. And in this case, there were close to 7,000 pieces uh, in this job. Then Warren and Maggie and Ellen will take these windows and start fabricating. This is the studio where we do all our work and produce the windows for our commissions. Most recently, we're, we're privileged to have the job at St. Charles Avenue Presbyterian Church. Chemists have tell, told us that uh, glass is a super cool liquid. It's not really a solid. The evidence of that is that old window panes are thicker at the bottom than they are at the top. Um, so as we run the score in a piece of glass, it is like throwing a rock into a pond of water and the shock waves now are running all through this piece of glass and what I'm going to do is just reinforce that score and um, divide the glass there. I'm in the process of what's called leading so we cut the lead cane pieces these little channels they come in different sizes we'll cut those to length and um, basically it's just fitting together and doing the final fit for the panel. Lead is you know, the traditional method that's been used for the longest amount of time and in my opinion it still works the best. You know, you just have to fit individual pieces more or less until you get It's pretty repetitive. Uh, you know, it takes a certain type of person to do this line of work. Uh, when we're working on a big job like this one, I think the piece count was 6,800 pieces. So when we're in the process of building, we'll do it in stages where we'll cut all the glass, we'll pattern everything at once, we'll cut all the glass next, and we'll sort it all out, and then when you get to this point, you're laying out individual panels. I just finished putting this all together yesterday. I'm going back now, soldering all the lead joints together, which will continue the lines, round them out, smooth them out, and it holds it together so it's all nice and snug in there. This is the original drawing of Steve's, and I'm actually making this middle panel right here. We refer back to the originals because a lot of the lead Will stick out over the glass 
Just making sure that it's all matching up to his original plans for it. It's one of those things, once you learn how to do it, you can't really forget it. It's just about practicing, tightening up your skill of it. But I love it. It's quite a long process. This job will take several months, and um, we are eagerly <laughs> looking forward to installing and seeing the, the finished product. Most other artistic mediums are um, used in lots of other applications, but stained glass is the church's own. And if the church is the bride of Christ, I like to think of a stained glass window as the jewelry that the bride of Christ wears. And on the seventh day, God finished the work that he had done. And God rested on the seventh day from all the work that he had done. So God blessed the seventh day and hallowed it, because on it God rested from all the work that God had done in creation.